Yeah. Uh, come this way. Yeah. No. Now we're basically in frame. Uh, Ringo here. I got my buddy Mikey. Uh, we're masked up, so hopefully you can hear us. So I'm going to be teaching Mikey uh, some of my tricks with regards to ducking. And then we're going to, later in a second video, I'm going to be teaching how to use a level change to throw two leg shots. Um, if you back my Patreon, you've already seen a version of this not in armor. Um, so this is going to be the in armor version, hopefully a little bit cleaner. So first off, when we're talking about ducking, there's sort of three ways that you can duck. You can move your body forward and backwards. So you can duck by coming under a shot that way, or under a shot this way, or side to side, or you can level change. And a level change just means basically you're squatting. And you do it by dropping your hips and bending your knees, and that brings you down. The advantage to this over sort of a traditional duck, first off, your head's usually up when you're duck versus when you're level changing versus when you're ducking forward or backwards or side to side. Usually your head comes down on those. So you don't see what you're doing. Also, your shoulders are over your thighs, or over your feet. So just take a nice little stance and then squat. All right, so this is how we deal with a basic level change. Now, you're coming down to here. That's gonna be way too low, come up a little bit. This is really all you wanna do in kick. If you're coming, notice how when you're getting really low, like you feel all that extra weight and like you're kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen as much when you're not in kick. Like you can get down low and kind of still fight. In kick, fighting from here is basically impossible. Also, because our vision is reduced, just coming here, is usually enough to get you to come under something for them not to see what your shot is doing. This is, that's really all you need to do. Um, you'll even see it in like actual boxing, MMA, kickboxing fights, that they're doing this for their level change. In wrestling, it's a little bit more. They're coming all the way down here before their shot, but they also can touch the ground, which we can't. So, again, you wanna come about there, yeah. And so, you're also leaning way back. A good squat, right? We're putting all of our weight back into our heels. We don't want to do that for this. We're going to come down and we're still kind of forward. Our foot chest is going to be a little bit forward. That way we're still on our toes and we can take steps to either side. So yeah. So to really make this work, you'll find a lot of success in this at intermediate levels and beginner level. Just coming down and throwing a shot here or just throwing a shot from there, or even grappling, you're like, ha, I'm out. Um, but what we're gonna be trying to do, and doing this at a more advanced level, where you need to be doing more than just sitting into your squat. So, if I want to deal with a shot coming in, so Mikey, throw any sort of shot. So I'm gonna wanna, when I double change, I'm also gonna wanna come offline with those first couple of moves that we have. So as he's coming this way, I'm also rolling so that as I come down, I can get more of the angle with it. So here's an example where I'm going to dodge Andrew's downward strike. Uh, it's a little shift to the left. Um, you're going to see my knees go down as well, which prevents it from, uh, from hitting anywhere on the body. So that's the duck. And then also front knee and back knee are both down. Then I'm up and inside. All right, so we're sitting here. I'm throwing blows and whatever. You get your head moving. You get your shoulders moving, and that's when you add in the level change, right? So we'll be fighting, and I might take this step as I change levels, and then throw my shot and leave. This is this is very uh, very helpful, and in, uh, in singles, it also works really well in melees for for grappling, right? So if we're here, and we're tied up, and I want Quentin's leg to come up to do something, I can drop down, and now I have a single, really easily. Or I can drop down, and now I'm under his arm and through. It's important to do with this level change that we don't do this, the singles version, right? The singles, I'm coming here, or maybe I'm ducking here as I come through. When I'm in grapple range, if I duck in here, he's got my head, my head comes down, and in armor, if I have that 
Now his weight's way off of his feet, and he's just going to go down. So when we're doing a level change in a grapple, it's that's much more key that we're staying straight. We're doing in and out or side to side, but we aren't changing our body. So it's I'm gonna come in, I come to the side. So I come in, I come to the side. Um, you can sometimes get away with ducking your head in once you've already freed it, but you definitely don't want to get here and then do it. You want to have already gotten yourself free. That's another thing that's a, don't worry about that for now. <laughs> um, if you've taken my, my escape class, you, you sure already know about that, and if not, just hit me up, I'll talk to you about it, or send you a video or something. Um, right, so that's the basics of how we do level change. So we want to think about this too in the way that I'm throwing levels. If I throw it straight down the pipe, when Mikey wants to take, he wants to change his level, and he wants to step off to the side, right? But if I'm throwing a horizontal shot like that, he changes level and steps off to the side, he's still gonna hit it. So on that, when he wants to take that step, come off to the side and then, ch and then bring your body in a little bit. Yeah, so that's gonna come over by, deep, by sort of, you're ducking into it a little. Um, you can also go back the other way, duck out of it. Um, so a straight shot in, punches, you move to the side with your level change, right? So I'm going boom. And then if I'm going with a horizontal, yeah, it's a little bit more of a duck. Um, and that, you, that also changes what you're gonna do offensively, right? So if he does that duck, he's already in, can easily shoot in, grab a single, come up, grab an underhook, he has anything available. If he comes to the side on a straight, he's in a great position to tell me that, or he's preloaded for that punch, uh, or a strike, or, or a sword strike, that was the right side, not in the sword. <laughs> so, um, you just gotta play with these, bring them into your sparring, but try to really um, go a little bit subtle with it. I've, I've seen a lot of people when, they're, when they start, they just drop that ass all the way down into like a full ass to grass squat. What's gonna happen, go back into a full squat like that, is I can just do it in the face, and please don't grab my instant. I'm a little injured, so he would have normally fallen down. I'm about to offer a bunch of excuses, which are bullshit. Um, if someone fucks up an instruction, it probably means that can happen in, in the fight. So I'm going to say this won't happen in a fight. It, it totally can. Someone can definitely catch your foot. Um, it's unlikely that they would, and I do think that being in that ass to grass squat is bad. Um, the reason Mikey grabs it, as you can see, is because he's trying to keep his balance, but um, this is a bunch of bullshit I'm saying right here, so uh, I'm talking over it. But letting you know that I was in, that uh, I was talking about some bullshit. Drop into that squat and I can just be on top of you. Um, and when we're in soft kit, when we're sparring out of kit, that's really easy to get out of. When you're in kit, that's super hard to get out of, and you get stuck there. Um, also, go back into it. Try to take a step to either side. You notice how small that is. Come up to a real, come up to a, like a half squat, a little higher. Yeah, take a step to either side. Way more movement. Um, so that's just how we want to work in your level changes. Um, one thing I like to do if I'm on the pedal or on a bag, is I'll be just throwing this and I'll just change levels. So this, step to the side, change levels. Work it into your, your sparring, work it into your pedal work, your bag work, and really just this. Just add that little bit um, to your game. It works as a, as a fake, it works uh, to set up grapples, it works to dodge blows. It's very effective. Um, cool, I'm gonna stop this and then we're gonna do another video. Have some B-roll bloopers and then uh, some examples. Uh, what we wanna be doing though, we're not, I'm not in training anymore. <laughs> we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna try to really enunciate because we're in public. Fuck you, other camera. That, <laughs> died so I forgot to charge it apparently. If you're keen-eyed, you may notice that a lot of these are garbage technique compared to what I just taught you, because I'm very much of one of those do what I say, not what I do teachers. Um, I get away with a lot of things because I'm pretty athletic. Also, because the quality of fighting back 
five years ago wasn't very good, but it's getting better, and a lot of the cheats and shortcuts I use are going to become less and less effective. So the fact that I drop ass to grass when fighting Sam, or that I lean into Simon there, that's, that's not okay. Um, just because I get away with it doesn't mean it works. Peace, y'all.